Just a few words to say how fortunate and lucky Tom is to be marrying such a beautiful and loving girl as Farron. From being a youngster, Tom has always been very particular about most things, but meeting Farron and marrying her is one of the most particular things he has ever done. Sally and I love them both very much, and we, lo- we hope they will be happy and have a wonderful life together. But don't forget, the first boy's name is Freddy, with a Y. Miss you all. Love, Grandma and Granddad. P.S. If it's a girl, Freddy with an I.E. And friends of Farron and Tom, welcome to this very special day at this very special place where we celebrate these two very special people. I'm not sure what you usually do on a Sunday afternoon, but I think you'll agree with me this is a pretty awesome way to spend one. Let's take this road. Farron, I promise never to take you for granted, as if our paths hadn't crossed that 22nd of August 2012, who knows what sort of disasters we could have ended up with. I promise to always love you, no matter how much you take the piss out of me, within reason. I promise to always give you a piece of my calamari, even though you've got a whole plate of your own. Where possible, I promise to always cross the road with you to make sure that we're together when partaking in these relatively low-risk daily activities. To make sure that if we're going down, we're going down together. Just keep going around, going around. So six years ago, you've heard the story already. Farron and I were holidaying in Peru, and there was a fair few shenanigans going on at the bar, and Farron decided to wander off and next to um, next to a tall, handsome, beige, beige pant, trek pant wearing Englishman that we know as Tom Williams. She told him she didn't like his pants, but she liked his hat and she stole his hat. And that's pretty much how this love affair began. And one, one swift movement of taking the hat, which he did want back by the end of the night, I think. You've got me running in circles. I don't ever want to slow down. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Just keep going around. Never in a million years did I expect to find my future husband in an Irish pub in Cusco. I'm not sure if it was the hiking boots or the re-indition of Neil Young that sealed the deal, but what I do know is that the beer I bought you was the best investment I've ever made. I love you for how kind and patient you are, how you aren't afraid to say what you think, even if I tell you off for doing so most of the time. I adore how much you love your family, and I know that someday if we have our own, you'll make an amazing father to our children, or Labradoodle. very lucky man to be stood here today. From the moment I met you, I knew you were something very special, but certainly couldn't have imagined that things would have turned out as amazing as they have. Farron, you're beautiful inside and out. You're smart, you're caring, and you always put others first. You're hilarious, and after six years of knowing you, you still make me laugh to this day from the bottom of my belly. I was certain that you were the one very soon after meeting you, but in my typical awkwardness around anything romantic, the words, I love the bones of you, apparently didn't quite get the message across how I wanted it to. 